Chris here and welcome to the first review of 2020 from me. It's some TWS earbuds. Now, as I've mentioned in my other videos, the market is absolutely flooded with these, but here's one that's a little different. So the manufacturer, Holly High, they got in touch with me and said, hey, do you want to review the EA2s? They sent them out to me free of charge in exchange for this review. And the reason why I said yes is because they're a little different because these ones here have an incorporated battery bank within them. It's 5,000 milliamp hours. It does have type C on here and you can charge devices at 10 watts. It also has wireless charging. It's only five watts, but it's a good option there to have. And then the earbuds themselves, uh, they did surprise me sounding better than I thought they would. So in the box, we've got a type C cable. This is a short one here that can also be swapped around and used for charging your devices. After all, as mentioned, this is a battery pack as well. And there's a user guide and they give us some spare tips in here. So it comes with the medium ones pre-applied so you get some small and large. And now I found the large ones for my ears worked best, giving me the best seal. So our case and battery bank here is a bit chunkier than your typical TWS earbuds. It's to be expected considering it does have a 5,000 milliamp hour battery in here. Now we've got down the bottom a little button. Tap that, that brings up the status LEDs to tell you your remaining battery life. I have at the moment 100% battery right there with the four illuminated lights and it will take about two hours to fully charge this, that 5,000 milliamp hour battery. Output from this is 10 watts, which is not too bad, but it doesn't support Qualcomm's Quick Charge 3. I guess the licensing was too expensive for that, would have pushed the price of this well up. And on the back here, we do have wireless charging support. So if you have a phone out there or other tech that supports wireless charging, you simply place it on the back and you can see right now, it will start to wirelessly charge. Overall, the plastics used is not bad at all. The quality of it, it does pick up fingerprints and smudges easily. And right here to gain access to the TWS earbuds, just slide down on it. And once you remove these, they are already paired up by the way, and they will only just take a few seconds to do that. Like all Bluetooth 5 tech, it's very quick if they've already been paired. So overall, the build quality of these is good. There are no sharp edges, nice plastics. They only weigh about five grams each. They are very light and I do find them comfortable. Now they run on touch controls here. It's not a physical click and button, but it is touch capacitive and it, that controls your previous, next track, and to example, launch Siri or Google Assistant. What is missing is volume controls on the earbuds themselves, which is a little disappointing. So you have to use your device for that. So here is a sample from the inbuilt microphones that this has. And as you can hear, they are not particularly good. This is one of my cons here of these, that it's not great quality. If you want the best quality, look for some TWS earbuds that actually have dual mics on there. So one also handles noise cancellation. So when the E2s are connected, depending on your device, it will probably pop up and tell you the remaining battery life. So how is the runtime on these? With the volume at 50%, I'm getting over four and a half hours. Now the manufacturer claims five hours on these, but I found that the left one powered off just about four and a half hours. So it's close to the claim there. And with the case, you do get an additional huge 40 more charges because really it's a battery bank. Now where these earbuds have surprised me here is their sound output. I wasn't expecting them to be great, okay? I was thinking, well, the focus is probably more on the wireless charging, battery bank, and perhaps the sound quality won't really be that good. But it's actually, I feel pretty good. I think most people are gonna be happy with them. They've got a decent amount of bass. They don't distort at 100% volume. Vocals sound good. The only area where I can really criticize it is I feel these drivers aren't so great at really crisp highs. So if you're really into your treble, then you may be slightly disappointed. Volume output, depending on my devices I'm using, does actually seem to be very good. And just remember, you've got no volume controls on the actual earbuds themselves. So what about the latency? Are we seeing any lag when watching video here? Is the audio syncing with people's mouths? It is here with my Samsung Galaxy Tab S6. Audio synced perfectly. However, with my Huawei P30 Pro, I've noticed there's about a millisecond delay. So it's really gonna be down to what device you're using if you're gonna see that typical Bluetooth lag here. So the 10 watt output from this battery bank and it's 5,000 milliamp hour capacity means that I can get to about 70% on my Huawei P30 Pro and it will take around about an hour and a half to do this, which isn't bad for those out there that carry a separate battery bank and some Bluetooth 5 earbuds, then this is an option to have them both in one. 
Now onto the comfort of these earbuds. So this style of earbud with the tip that extends out with the microphone, I find all of them seem to have quite a good fit and they just stick in my ear and stay in place there. As long as you get, of course, the tips that give you a very good seal. For me, that was the larger size gave me the better seal. And due to that, I get a little bit of passive noise reduction as well. Now I have found that the range is very good on these. I've had no disconnects as well in my environment here. So here in the studio, I've got a lot of 2.4G, 5G wireless networks around. I can see a lot of Bluetooth around as well. But if you're sitting in a very busy bus station or train station or sitting in the tube or in the metro, you might run into a disconnect then with a lot and lot of signal around and a very noisy environment. Could possibly cause a disconnect, but not for me. Now, areas of complaint, the biggest for me is probably the volume controls I find a little annoying, the lack of them. Okay, so the touch controls, they're actually working all right, the capacitive touch controls, but the fact that I cannot tap and hold and to put the volume up or tap and hold the other side to put the volume down is to me an annoyance because then you've got to go and reach in and adjust on the device itself. And that to me is a bit of an oversight from the manufacturer. Microphone quality is not amazing. So the sample I gave you could hear, it doesn't sound that great. I mean, you can place voice calls with it, but if you want the best mic quality, go with some TWS earbuds that have noise cancellation, active noise cancellation with dual mics normally on each one of them. So mono mode is working as well with these. And then how do they sound out of the box? To me, they actually sound better than I was expecting. I thought with this kind of a product, they might overlook sound quality. It's only got a six millimeter driver. And when you take a look at the specs of it, you think that, oh, it might not be that great, but the lows are good. The out of box calibration is favoring bass like most manufacturers. The mid sound good to me as well. And the vocals are fine. And at 100% volume, I'm not getting any bass distortion at least on a flat profile that is, where others could. Now the thing that where it lacks to me is the highs could be just a little bit crisper there, but that's just to my ears. So overall, I think for the 38 US dollars, these are selling for, and it's a two, well, three in one device, the wireless charging, five watts only, and then we've got 10 watt charging, the 5,000 milliamp hour battery will charge a lot of phones out there to almost 100%, if it's an older phone with say 3,500 milliamp hour capacity, yes, it will fully charge it, but newer phones with larger batteries, you're gonna get to about 70, 80% battery before it runs out of juice there because it's not a 100% efficiency, the charging rate there. So all up, yes, maybe a little bit overpriced there, but I think you're getting, for those that want just an all-in-one device, you don't wanna to have to carry a battery bank around with you separately, and then some earbuds, and these ones, they're worth a look there, definitely. And thank you so much for watching the review of the Holly High EA2s. Hope to see you back in the channel with the next up and coming review. Bye for now.